Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be ranking the top 5 strongest damage champions in Paladins. These damage champions are at the top of the meta right now in 2023, and they're great options for you to pick up if you're looking for a powerful and fun character to try out. This is the first season where I'll be including controller meta picks as well as keyboard and mouse picks, since crossplay is now a feature in Ranked. This list is also just my opinion, so feel free to let me know who you think the best damage champions are in the comment section down below. But with all that being being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Number 5. Vivian at number 5 we have Vivian, a champion who ranks high up on the controller meta. Vivian does a ton of single target damage, and her fast firing hitscan weapon makes her an ideal champion to use with aim assist. Aim assist, especially on PC, makes it much easier for her to nail people with headshots than on keyboard, pushing her damage numbers through the roof. Vivian is one of the best shield busters in the game since her LMG pairs excellently with Wrecker, and she's a champion who's generally great at shredding tanks. Her sensor drones are also good for giving intel to her team, allowing her to see when enemies are coming after her and counter invisible champions. She's also pretty tanky, with her shield providing a nice boost to her survivability that can also give her DR with the card Scapegoat. Against other controller players, this is actually a pretty reliable way to stay alive, since it's a bit harder to aim at her feet than on keyboard and mouse. While Vivian might be one of the most boring champions in the game, she's easy to get into and very strong. She's not as great when played by a keyboard and mouse player, but on controller, she dominates, and actually has the second highest win rate out of all the damage champions. That said, she does get countered by blasters, and isn't impossible to beat. So, while she doesn't rank higher than this, she still earns the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4. Betty LaBamba in the number 4 spot we have Betty LaBamba, the queen of dishing out free damage in Paladins. Betty is one of the easiest champions to pick up, since her gameplay boils down to spamming all of her abilities at the objective. But that doesn't mean she's not strong, because she's one of the most devastating damage champions in the game. The Bomb Queen didn't get her title for no good reason, since she spams so many bombs at the enemies that even Bomb King would be jealous. On tight maps with closed in rooms like Ice Mines, Jag Falls, and Bright Marsh, this level of spam is devastating. She can control entire choke points and turn the objective into a minefield, making everyone on the enemy team wish they had banned her. Her tank busting potential is almost unmatched, since the damage of her cluster bomb scales with the amount of shields and deployables it hits. Her hail of bombs can shoot through what's left of the enemy's defenses, making the objective a cakewalk for her own tanks to take. You might think that this damage comes at the cost of her being weak to flanks, and that is true to an extent. If she gets caught off guard or has to fight someone in the air, she does tend to struggle. However, she's not totally helpless. All it takes is three clean hits for her to mop the floor with the damage champion who comes near, thanks to the power of fiery disposition and the combo she can do with her explosive personality. Most of her abilities also have varying degrees of knockback to them, making it difficult for the enemies to control their movements around her. All of Betty's abilities combine to make her a damage dealing machine machine, who is extremely easy to play and dominates on a lot of maps. So Betty LaBamba earns the number 4 spot on this list. Number 3. Drogos In the number 3 spot we have Drogos, who's off the bench now that his counters have been nerfed. Drogos is feeling great in Season 6 thanks to a few key changes, alongside the weakening of his counters. Drogos benefited heavily from the air strafing change at the start of the season, since he can now move around much more freely in the air. Drogos also got the old version of Propel put into his base kit, making it so he can invest into other important cards. Drogos has always been able to dish out tons of damage thanks to his powerful rockets and devastating Spitfire Salvo. By unleashing the might of his salvo into a primed fire spit, he can delete squishy enemies in seconds. He has consistent area damage with his rockets, and even better single target damage when using Fusilade. All of this gets enhanced by the fact that he's the only damage champion with consistent controlled flight, allowing him to create vantage points to rain down hellfire on the enemies wherever he wants. Drogos' counters have always kept his otherwise powerful kit in check. Drogos is extremely big, and his flight, while incredibly useful, is also predictable. This makes it very easy to swat him out of the sky with hitscan champions, especially those who can fly. Androxus is still the best counter to Drogos in the game, but he's fallen out of favor in the meta thanks to the removal of Curse Revolver. While Androxus can fly just as much as Drogos thanks to his new talent Darkstalker, his damage leaves much to be desired. Leon also isn't meta right now, thanks to all the alacrity nerfs over the years alongside her low 
of base HP. Snipers are far out of the meta except on certain maps, and that leaves just a few other grounded damage champions with falloff as reasonable counters to Drogos. This makes Drogos pretty free to do what he wants compared to years past, and it makes him incredibly strong as a result. Not much has changed about Drogos over the years apart from what I went over at the start, but because his counters aren't as strong in Season 6, Drogos finally has his time to shine. So, for the first time in the history of this series, Drogos gets to officially be ranked as one of the top 5 best damage champions in Paladins. Number 2. Bomb King The King has finally been dethroned, as Bomb King is no longer the best damage champion in Paladins. Instead, he's been bumped down to number 2, which is still a very respectable place for him. Honestly, Bomb King is in a really good spot right now, and it's all thanks to the recent rework given to Royal Subjects. Royal Subjects used to be a talent that gave him increased area of effect on his sticky bombs, giving him a bunch of free damage and cover denial. It made him the best damage champion in the game, since he had high AoE burst damage on top of the good mobility and crowd control that he's known for. For bad Bomb King players, this talent served as a crutch, but for good Bomb King players, this talent was a disgusting tool that let him hit people behind cover. Now, it's been reworked into a talent which gives him two poppy bombs, giving him incredible mobility at the cost of no longer having free damage. This new talent is insanely fun, and if you haven't tried it already, you need to give it a shot. On open maps like Bright Marsh, this talent is incredible, and it makes skilled Bomb King players even more powerful than before. But on maps that are more closed in like Ice Mines, this new talent isn't as good as it used to be. Bomb King can still wreck a team if you're good at him, since he has the same powerful damage and crowd control as before. He can keep pace with the likes of Maeve, Eevee, and Drogos now, but he does struggle to hit them more than before. This rework traded his reliability away for better mobility and more fun, and that's a trade-off that I'm so happy they made. But alas, it does mean that Bomb King is no longer number one, as that title goes to someone who is far too reliable and powerful to ignore. So, Bomb King rests easy in the number two spot, but he'd easily rank number one if this list were based on fun. But before we see who the number one best damage champion in Paladins is, let's discuss a few honorable mentions. First up, Sha Lin. Sha Lin is an excellent duelist who counters flanks and damages really well. His cripple arrow plus rapid shot combo deletes squishies, and he's got good range to boot. With the recent buffs to his health and fire rate, he's no longer as vulnerable to getting rushed down by tanks. His only real weaknesses are being countered by reveals and being spammed out on maps with bad sight lines. He could easily reach the number 4 or 5 spot on this list, but the reason why I didn't put him there is because of his devastating FPS bug. You see, Shaolin has had a bug for years where your frame rate will drop tremendously every time you charge up a shot. On low-end machines, it makes him borderline unplayable, but high-end machines aren't immune from it either. Hell, I have a 4090 and the latest Intel CPU, and I still get frame drops when I play this guy. It's just a case of bad optimization on Paladin's part, and it holds him back from ranking higher on this list. Octavia and Sati are the other two honorable mentions I want to discuss, who are both solid all-around options for you to play. Sati is one of the most versatile champions in the game, having good single-target damage, the best cover denial in the game, good crowd control, mobility, and survivability. She's a jack-of-all-trades, but master of none. With Window of Opportunity, she can blast people into the sky for some free kills, and this makes her a great anti-dive champion. However, her coin and ultimate are situational and aren't always the most useful tools, and she suffers at long range. Overall, she's dependable, but not worthy of an official ranking this time around. Octavia is another champion like Vivian who is dominant on controller. She's who I like to think of as the Goldilocks character. She's really bad at super long or super close range, but right in the middle, she's perfect. She boasts some of the highest single target damage in the game while scoped in, and she can easily vaporize targets when she gets the right angle on them. Her distortion field provides decent utility, and she has a solid movement ability as well. However, she's very vulnerable at close and long range, making her less versatile than Sati and Shaolin. She also has some nasty bugs with her distortion field, making it unreliable in some situations. So, she falls just short of an official ranking on this list. Number 1. Tyra and the title for the best damage champion in 2023 goes to Tyra, who is the most consistent team player out of all the damage champions in Paladins. Tyra has a lot going for her. She's great on both input types, she has high damage output, she's really tanky, she's extremely easy, and last but not least, she has Hunting Party, the bread and butter of her kit that puts her at the top of the meta in Season 6. 
With Hunting Party, Tyra gets double the marks, allowing her to reveal two enemies at a time or continuously refresh the mark on the same target. And this talent also makes her innate damage amp apply to everyone on her team, which is insanely strong. Would you like to be revealed to the entire enemy team for 5 seconds, taking a 15% increased damage from every bullet they send your way? I think not. Because of Hunting Party, Tyra's value as a team player is unmatched among the damage class. But she's no laughing matter when it comes to her raw damage output either. Tyra has excellent sustained single target damage, making her a great candidate for buying Wrecker to demolish shields. When combined with her Firebomb, she can melt a tank in seconds. Tyra has always been one of the premier tank busters in Paladins, but she's also not a pushover when it comes to battling flanks. She's a solid mid-range champion with surprisingly decent falloff, and she's also got the highest base health pool in the damage class. She has innate life seal on her primary fire, and she can also use a motley of different cards to make her even beefier. And the aforementioned marks go a long way towards making sure that if a flank comes her way, her entire team knows about it and is ready to counter them. There's no understating just how oppressive Hunting Party really is. The only weakness Tyra has is that she has no movement ability, so she's pretty limited at getting around the map. This can hurt her in certain situations, like pushing the payload on Serpent Beach. But to be honest, it's for the best that she doesn't have mobility. With how strong the rest of her kit is, this is really the only thing keeping her in check. Tyra has the highest pick rate and win rate out of all the damage champions in Masters level ranked, but it's no surprise when you look at the powerful abilities in her arsenal. She's versatile, easy, and an incredible team player with ridiculous amounts of damage to boot. That's why Tyra earns the title of the best damage champion in Paladins for Season 6. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Who do you think is the best damage champion in Paladins? Let me know in the comments section down below. While you're down there, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this from me. You should also check out my Twitch channel and Discord server, both of which are linked in the description. And if you want to support this channel, then consider making your next crystal purchase over at my Nexus by going to nexus.gg slash andrewchicken. There, you can buy crystals for the same price you normally do and support me in the process. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.